Welcome guys, welcome guys. So uh, in this video, uh, let's talk about uh, this problem. So this problem is so famous that uh, I mean, if you are undergrad in uh, general physics, then uh, you probably uh, will encounter it with. So there, uh, so this is the constant. And there is a particle m, right? And uh, you are uh, at this. You need to consider special relativity and the constant force. So remember that uh, your p is m v. So m uh, v is dx divided by dt and uh, divided by this uh, gamma factor, uh, one over v square uh, v square uh, one minus v square divided by c square and v x dx dt square. And uh, let's assume x zero is zero, x dot zero is zero, just for fun. Okay. And then there is a constant force. So uh, the problem is that in the classical physics there is a uh, no uh, is gamma factor. So uh, you can uh, infinite it, uh, you can uh, keep accelerating this m uh, arbi arbi to arbitrary speed. So the speed can be infinity since there is no uh, constant, uh, there is no gamma factor here. Uh, but now in the special relativity, uh, somehow you need to, uh, there is a constant speed c, right? So your uh, dp divided by dt, just need to write the dt, this guy, right? So uh, f is, if you, f is constant, then you just uh, integrate t. So you get ft divided by n, and dx dt divided by this, right? And then it's very easy that uh, you just square on this, and then you write as this. So you just uh, get our speed term, right? So you get your dx dt square become this. Uh, so your ft, uh, you get this, right? <coughs> After you uh, computation, you get this. So obviously, if there is C is infinity, there is no least term. Then you get your original Newtonian uh, mechanics. If there is no, uh, if C is infinity, okay. So some will get least term. You you can still see this when C goes to infinity. Then your answer is F T divided by M, which is uh just uh, uh acceleration times T. Okay, and then you do you if you want to solve your X T, you, know, you get X T uh, like this. Okay, uh. Yeah, so like this is very easy. Let's assume that uh, your antiderivative is this c tilde one plus this guy, right? So you uh, and then you do a differentiation, then you get this. Uh, the numerator, the denominator is just this guy, right? And the numerator is just the chain rule, so you get the chain rule. And then you compare with the coefficients f t divided by n, then you get your uh, c tilde, right? So this is your c tilde. You put in, and why there is a minus one here? Because when t is zero. Uh, when uh, velocity is zero, zero, right? And x zero, is, so you get this. And uh, you can, uh, yeah, so this is the answer, right? And uh, you can do a simple exercise that uh, if you take the Tyler expansion, take the square roots, then uh, you will get the origin, then the, and the delete, and you will get the original answer, like uh, ft, ft, uh, one half at squared, which a is ft divided by m. Okay, so yeah, so in the uh, special relativity, uh, constant force calculation is very easy, you just uh, similar to constant force uh, uh, classical. The uh, only difference is that uh, you count this gamma factor, so somehow you need to uh, write as this. And uh, the difficult part is that uh, the least you need to do is integral, but uh, luckily this integral can be done. So yeah, I mean, very easy. So subscribe to my channel. I'll see you guys in the next videos.